What is going on, everybody? It is Wes Slanks back at it again. Happy to be back making another video. Uh, I got a lot of content to make some videos off of because there is a lot of stuff to freaking talk about, man. Today we're going to dive into uh, Starfield, some of the news that you guys have already heard because I'm late to the party by like a day or 20 hours or however the hell you want to put it. But uh, I really wanted to talk about this, kind of voice my opinion, voice what's happening, uh, all this other stuff. So as most of you know by now, uh, it has been revealed that Starfield will run at 30 frames per second on the Xbox Series X at 4K and on the Xbox Series S, which that is a whole entire console itself that I feel like is holding this whole thing back, but I'll get into that. Um, on that console, it's going to run at 1440p at 30 frames per second. So, uh, you know, the big thing's been revealed that Starfield is going to run 30 frames on both of these consoles, and people have a lot of shit to say about this, and rightfully so. I, I got a lot of different ways of, of looking at this, and by all means, trust me, I'm not going to sit here and defend it. That's one thing I'm not going to do. Um, I think as consumers, we keep getting robbed of, of what we were promised, and we keep getting robbed of anything else to do with these consoles. Now, that that goes for you know PS5 and Xbox Series X. Um, I'm not just trying to hate on Xbox here. Uh, I'm sure PlayStation has had some games I can't really think of that maybe have like not done very well in frames, maybe Forspoken, I think. Um, but I do feel like PS5 has done a pretty damn good job at releasing games at 60 frames, um, at least 1440p or, or upscaled 4K at 60 frames. So I feel like they've done a pretty good, good job with that. And I think Xbox is leaving a stale taste in our mouth already because of Redfall. I mean, we are just off of Redfall where they weren't transparent about the frames at all. Um, we all know the game was shit. I don't really think maybe 2% of the population that played it liked it. Uh, a lot wrong with that game, obviously. But I think coming off of that with the 30 frames and the bugginess, uh, you know, Xbox gamers kind of have a stale taste in their mouth and a lot of people were really hoping for a win with this one. And... Todd Howard, you know, with him just announcing, and at, and at least I will say that they're being transparent about this, and Todd is, is coming clean about their game. I give them props for doing that months before its release date, coming out and saying it is locked at 30 frames. You know, I mean, that takes a lot to do these days. <laughs> Evidently, it takes a lot to do these days. Uh, instead of lie out of your mouth and just spew bullshit like every other company is doing at this point. I mean, I'm getting so damn tired of it. Everybody is getting tired of it. So I will say they've been very direct with, with this game. Um, so I will give them props for that. Uh, I want to dive into some of what Todd is saying here. Um, I will post a screenshot for you all in this Todd Howard discussion that he did with IGN. Uh, anyway, he said that... Obviously, the reason they're doing this, which we know that um, most people in their right mind, we know why they're doing this, so we kind of knew what he was going to say anyway, is, uh, you know, they don't want to sacrifice the performance in the game or some of the fidelity for the 30 frames. So, pretty much what he's saying, and this is going to be a perfect damn example, is take Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order into account. I think it is a great game underneath all the performance issues. I just recently beat it. Um, so, I mean, I can rightfully talk about this. Great game under all the performance issues, but it was released with you being able to play it at 60 frames per second. But with that said, it was so poorly optimized, and at least, you know, I played it on PS5. The frames would drop mid fights, the frames would drop while climbing, the, fr the frames would drop in damn cutscenes damn cutscenes it would be boss fights and i would be in a boss fight and then it starts dropping frames in a cutscene. it was i mean i had to laugh i laughed at that game so much because of how bad it was optimized and they still put it out 
Uh, they didn't give a shit. So they didn't talk about it at all until it dropped, and now they're trying to do patches for it. So that's the whole road that Todd Howard is talking about that he doesn't want to go on. And I do understand that. And like I said, at least they're being crystal clear with it. And um, I'm going to put another thing up right here about Phil Spencer talking about it. And he came forward just recently, too, and started talking about it. He was like, damn, damn, Todd, you start coming out with IGN talking about it. I need to say something. I'm the damn CEO of Xbox. Let me say some shit. So he finally decided to come out and say something. And he said that, and of course he's going to say this. He's going to back this up. He said that the decision is a creative decision by the Bethesda team and it is not a console performance decision. So pretty much what pretty much what he's saying, he's trying to back up the Series X and he's like, um, guys, listen, all right, this could have ran at 1080p at 60 frames. Trust me, the console is that for damn powerful. This humongous game, it could have ran at 60 at 1080p. But it is a creative decision that they put it at 30 with 4K. They didn't want to sacrifice the graphics, okay? And that could be all well and true. It could be. I'm not working over there. I don't know shit. I'm just a guy um, who lives, you know, out in the middle of nowhere freaking talking about video games. Like, I understand. I'm not a part of that world. But here's what I get. And you all can tell me if you agree and tell me if I'm wrong. But here's what I get out of this. I think that some of the stuff that they're spewing is bullshit. I think that they probably tried the game with 1440p and running it at 60 and it couldn't achieve it. And the reason why I think that this is, you know, facts because even Todd Howard said, you know, right here, I'll put it up on the screen that on PC it achieves a little bit more than 30 frames per second and then he said sometimes it hits 60. Sometimes on a PC? Sometimes it's 60? I mean, shit, put that bitch at 720p and run that bitch at 60. I just don't know, man. Sometimes it hits 60. If it sometimes hits 60 on a powerful PC build, I don't believe what, what Phil is saying. That that's a creative decision and their console can hit 60 on it. I, I'm sorry. I, I don't believe it at all. Unless he marches over here and he proves it to me. He slaps a Series X with the dev build of Starfield on my desk and he's like, look, 1440p, 60 frames. Um, I just don't believe it. I'm sorry. We've been getting bullshitted so much out of so many situations like this recently that I, I just don't believe it. Um, but like I said, props to them for, for being transparent about it. Props to Todd. Um, I'm not trying to hate. I'm not trying to be a hater. I'm going to play the game anyway. The game looks fantastic. I'm going to give it a try. But I swear to God, if this shit has performance issues at 30 frames, I'm going to lose my shit. And I think it will. But nevertheless, let me know your all's uh, opinion. Let me know if I'm stupid or not. Or what do you think about all this? I really want to hear what everybody thinks. Um, I appreciate you guys for stopping by. And I will see you next time. Peace out.